startup or the CEO. So I think the biggest and, and most important challenge to start with before even reaching the tools is, I think for financial services providers to understand the key role they play mm -hmm. in really driving the female economy forward. And, you know, with that comes the understanding that SMEs and specifically women SMEs are critical to that. And the first step would be to acknowledge that there needs to be a clear strategy, a customer-centric strategy that is revolving around women, so a woman-centered strategy. And for that, you need to understand that most of the challenges, and which is why I think those CEOs said that, is because they believe they're gender neutral and they are gender equal, and then therefore they are gender inclusive. But neutrality and equality, as beautiful as they sound, are not inclusivity. And in order to be inclusive, what they actually need to do is build on equity. From equity, you build customer centricity and gender intelligence, which then solves your problems. And I think that is that first step. One size does not fit all. The products you have on your shelf, they're not for everyone. You can no longer build on, on the conventional product-centric approach and expect to have different results. What you need to do is become customer-centric. And to become customer-centric, you need to market research, understand the pain points, build on that, a complete and holistic value proposition. And so that's where the tools come in, in building that holistic value proposition. And that would mean you build on financial services, but also on non-financial services. Because you need to understand that it is no longer about providing a loan and giving an account and giving a card. It's about a full 360 degree approach. It's about making sure that the products that women are getting access to, they know how to maximize on it, they know how to use it, and that they actually have a fair and equal playing field 